Hey guys, Ntech here. In this video, we are going to be talking about the week one challenges from season five. Some tips and tricks to help you do them quickly, where to find certain things, how to find the treasure map, and so much more. Before we get in this video, make sure to drop a like on this video. It helps me know that you guys enjoy this and it will let me know if you want to see more of these types of videos. Also, make sure to subscribe for more Fortnite content, gameplay guides, future giveaways, and more if you guys aren't already. Also, also make sure to tick that bell icon and hit always to be notified when I put out a new video. I want to start reading the first comments at the end of my videos and so being a part of the notification squad and getting those comments in first are going to get you featured in a video. All right, so week one is upon us. There are a ton of changes to the game, a new map, a new desert biome, new cities, which I am sure will be featured in future weekly challenges, new objectives, new skins, and a ton more. Comment below what your favorite thing of season five is and what you hope they add next. All right, so let's dive right into the challenges, week one challenges. The first one is deal damage with SMGs to opponents. That's going to be pretty easy. Search a supply llama. That's going to be kind of hard. We'll talk about that here in a second. The next one is to eliminate opponents using a clinger, stink bomb, or grenade. This one seems hard at first, but it's actually pretty easy. I'm going to share with you a quick, simple way of doing this one. The next one is search chests and snobby shorts. You got to find seven of them. That one is not going to be very hard either. Search floating lightning bolts. That one's not going to be hard either because I'm going to share with you all of the locations that I know about. I found a ton of them. Super excited to share with you about that one. And then follow the treasure map found in risky reels. That's not hard either. The only two challenges that might pose any difficulty for you is going to be the retail row eliminate opponents in retail row and search a supply llama which we'll talk about why that is the case here in a little bit all right so let's dive right into this first off weekly challenges are now split into two sections free and battle pass the first three challenges will be available for free while the last four are only available if you own a battle pass the threshold to unlock the weekly challenge reward will remain at four okay the, this video will assume that you have all of them. You have the battle pass and you have all of the challenges, so I'll cover all of them. Not in any particular order or anything, but essentially what will be the easiest for you to do right away. But first off, let me start by saying this. Searching a supply llama. This is pretty straightforward, but this one might be the hardest one you have to uh, wait to do, simply because it's total RNG, it's total random, and I think there are only three llamas on a map at once and so you have a very low chance of finding one save this one for last because uh, it's just going to be hard if you try to do it right away find a llama loot it that's easy right but the the way that i think you're going to be able to do this is to glide around above until you spot one in a match and then just eliminate yourself or be eliminated and just like get out of it right away this one might take a while guys just, just so you know this might take a while now i wouldn't go out of your way to focus on dealing damage with smgs either because this will come naturally over time especially now that like SMG is like kind of the primary thing that people are using. You can easily deal damage to opponents with this so simply in 50v50. Like just go into 50v50, you'll do it in no time. Um, do all these challenges, as many as you can in 50v50 while it's still going on, okay? This is going to get you week one done very quickly. Just prioritize using an SMG and you should be good to go on this challenge. Just put it in your first slot, use it. That's Just try to use that one, you'll be good to go. So... The weekly challenge says that eliminating opponents with a clinger, stink bomb, or grenade will be hard, but honestly, if you go into solos and try this one, it could be very easy and you can get it done really quickly. What I what I did and the simplest way that I think there is to do it is to go into 50v50s. So keep in mind that you can use any of these, not a specific one or not one of each. I wouldn't necessarily do like squads or duos or something like that because you have to worry about people being revived, but you could always do 50v50 because it's such a mess half the time that people don't really bother ever reviving people for some reason. You can just throw some nades and probably kill some people or just finish off downed opponents with them. So uh, stink bomb eliminations though are, are might be a little bit more difficult so I wouldn't even try with that. I do clinger or grenades. Clingers if you're finishing people off. Grenades are the most readily available so just use that. But what I did was I went into 50v50, I went to Snobby Shores, and people are trying to get the chest there, so people went over the line, and eas and I easily got some clinger kills when people got down, when I just downed two guys and then clingered them. A super simple way to get it done. 
Now, next up, let's hit the chests in Snobby Shores, okay? This one might take a few times to land here because you might not get all the chests. There's tons of people going here. Um, there aren't a ton of chests in this area anyway. There's probably like five or six that are always going to be there. So you could get most of them done if you're alone. But um, what I would do is I would drop in solo squads or solo duos. You might have a good run uh, as, you know, it's it's Snobby Shores. There's not going to be a lot of people going there uh, just in general, but people will be going there for chests. And so it could be a little bit higher traffic traffic area also 50v50 allows you to do a lot of these challenges very easily but for the chess one i would say you know don't you can try to get two or something like that in the 50v50 but there's going to be a ton of people landing here and it might be a little chaotic it's one of the easiest modes to get these challenges done in however since it's a new challenge it's going to be crowded in this mode all right, let's just go ahead and run through Snobby Shores here. I'll kind of show you where the, generally the chests are found. Now, I, I will say this much right off the bat. Not every chest spawned in for me, but if you land here by yourself and no one else is here, you can probably get almost all the chests in one go uh, just from one single run through. I would try it in maybe 50v50 or a solo squad or something like that. It'd probably be the easiest way. Now, like I said, not every chest spawned. I think there's usually one up here. This house right here generally has two in the basement that you will find, yeah, like one right there and one right there. I don't think there's any other ones, although you're welcome to look around. There might be another one somewhere in here. This next house right here usually has a chest in the back, and the best places to find chests in this house are in the attic and the garage up on a broken ledge. Yeah, right there. So uh, look look through this house. You can find a couple chests in this house and in the backyard, like I said. This house, uh, there is usually another chest that will spawn, but there is a toilet room that has a chest. And then straight across the way, there is another similar looking room that has a chair in it. And there's a chest in here generally as well. And so hit that house up. You'll find two pretty quickly in here. Now this house right here in the backyard has a little bench. Generally there's a chest on there. And then I think there's usually one in the attic too. Yep, one in the attic. And then I'm not sure about one spawning anywhere else. Check like this thing right here. There could be one in there. Check the uh, above the garage. There's one right there. Just check above like the little areas. And I think, is this the house that has the secret rooms? No, this is not the house. There's another house. I think it's this next one. Has these little secret like rooms that there's potentially one. Like right here, there could be one that spawns there, I believe. Then on the other side, I think it has the exact same thing. Could be one that spawns there. And then there's also in the upstairs room area, uh, right back here, there's a secret room right here to look for as well. And none actually spawned in this house for me on this go. Uh, but I would not go to this house uh, first. This, this house usually doesn't have as many. I would go to the last one. And I think that's generally where most of the chests are found. But like I said, just kind of look around. You might find another one kind of scattered about or whatever. But it might take you one or two runs to go to Snobby, but I think you can find all of them fairly quickly. Like I said, especially if you do 50v50 or solo squads, I think you can find them relatively quickly by doing that. Next up, let's talk about the treasure map in Risky Reels. Now, you don't need to go to Risky Reels to get this done. You don't have to go there to find the treasure. I'm going to share with you where this is. It's super easy, super straightforward, and you can go straight to the area. Now, it's a pretty easy map in my opinion, and most people will notice the tunnel right away and how exactly where you need to go to get this done. If not, this is the tunnel just south of Tomato Town that runs underneath that hill. It's got that thing on the top. It's got like a tower in the middle of it. You know, you can like walk up the stairs. It's a, it's just that tunnel right there. And this is where you need to go to get this done. So once you're at the tunnel, it's pretty easy to find it. But make sure that you don't go to the wrong side of the tunnel. Don't go to the south side. Go to the north side. Even It, says, it even says it on the map. You want to go to the north side of the tunnel. Find the middle ground above the center of the tunnel. And you'll find the star. I looked for it a little bit. I had to take a little bit of time to get it. But I did find it pretty simple uh, that's it you'll see a lot of people going here just follow the people basically super simple easy battle stars so next up, I'd say you could focus on retail roll eliminations if you want to, uh, but I would try to probably go for the lightning bolts next as that's going to be pretty easy to do if you drop it in 50v50s. This will take you a while, but it can be done rather quickly. You can hit a couple at one time, uh, but if you know exactly where to go, you can just get in a match, get out of a match, get in a match, get out of a match, and do it pretty quickly. Lightning bolts appear as bright lights in the sky. You'll see like a streak going up the sky. 
but you have to build up to them to get them okay the main thing is that these are scattered all over the map and you need to find seven of them okay and like i said there's only a couple spots where they're together so you're gonna have to do a couple matches to get these so here's where you need to go so there's one by the motel it's right in the center there's like a crater below it i mean it's pretty obvious when you see it it's right there just go build up a little bit and you should be able to get that fairly quickly there's also one by Junk Junction. You could hit Junk Junction and then go over to the motel and get those two. There's also one uh, that's near Haunted Hills. And so there's a couple in a general area that you could go to uh, and get them all in one run if you really wanted to. Now, the Haunted Hills one is probably the one that might take the longest to get because you have to build up in between these two mountains and go pretty high in the air. I think it's actually the second highest one next to the one by the supervillain location. So there's one here right off the side of the mountain. This one, you'll probably have to literally drop in to get this one. I did build up in a 50v50 because other people had kind of already built up too. So you just need to come right to this little outcropping here and basically just build straight out from that and you should be able to get that one pretty easily as well one at tilted towers you can get it's pretty much right in the middle that one might be the hardest obviously because it is tilted towers and there's going to be a lot of people there uh, you could go there late game and maybe get it or you could go in a 50 v 50 if you're on that one side i would do it in a 50 v 50 that'd probably be the easiest way to get this one but you don't need to get this one there's plenty other ones around the map and so you can kind of pick which ones you want to go for there's one at retail row kind of in the residential area side of things and there's a couple other ones around the map so like i said you don't have to get tilted you can get other ones and avoid that one completely there's one outside of lucky you can grab that one it's on the side of the hill it's probably the easiest one to get and just, you don't have to build up very far to get this one well maybe the one by the tomato town as well there's one by loot lake this one might be a little hard to get depending on what mode you're in there's one like pretty much right off the pier the little dock thing area there uh, so that one should be fairly easy to get real fast if you want to go for that one as well and then the last one I found was above Dusty Divot. There might be other ones on the map. These are all the ones that I found. So you got a lot of options on how you want to complete this one. So that's it. Week one's done. Good luck. Have fun doing them. And like I said, let me know in the comments below what you thought of this guide. If you found it helpful. If you want more guides like this. And then also comment below what's your favorite thing for season five. More specifically, what's your favorite skin from season five? And what do you hope you get as quickly as you can? I hope this video helps you get these quickly. To get that uh, tier as high as you can. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Things are going well. I'll see you in the next one.